Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to take a look at the most luxurious as well as the newest trim for Buick's most popular model here in the United States, the Encore GX Avenir. So for 2024, the Encore GX and its platform mate, the Chevy Trailblazer, went through a mid-cycle refresh, which gives these vehicles new exterior styling, new technology on the inside, as well as new packaging and features depending on the trim level that you're looking at. And the Avenir trim beside me is new to the Encore GX lineup, although it has been offered on many of Buick's other models over the years. And much like those other models, it does offer unique styling elements on the inside, as well as the exterior, unique wheel designs, unique lighting on the outside, and a bunch of other amenities. So if you want the most luxurious, Encore GX, uh, the Avenir is definitely the way to go. Now across the Encore GX lineup for 2024, changes include new infotainment, new gauge cluster, new dash layout, and a host of other features and options. So make sure to check out the dedicated video I have here on the channel going over exactly what changed across the 2024 Encore GX lineup. Now finally, in terms of pricing, it did increase across the board for 2024 given the updates that Buick did do. Uh, so as far as the Avenir all-wheel drive, it now starts at $34,795, including destination. And believe it or not, if you check an extra cost paint color, all the additional option packages that this vehicle has to offer, you can surpass the $40,000 mark for this exact vehicle. And this one beside me actually is not too far away from that. So it is a little bit crazy for a luxury subcompact SUV to cross that $40,000 mark but you are getting a ton of equipment which we will showcase here in a little bit so without further ado let's not waste any more time take a look at what this buick avenir has to offer for just over thirty-eight thousand dollars. so the encore gx in front of us is finished in the moonstone gray metallic exterior with the whisper beige ebony leather interior now unfortunately it is an overcast sky as you can see so we can't see any of the metallic flake in the paint but i will say this is a very nice looking exterior color for this vehicle and particular trim level uh, given it does match the wheel finish quite well and you do have the body color accents specific to the Avenir so overall a lighter gray not quite as bright as a silver uh, but obviously will depend on who you ask now starting at the front end of every Encore GX we'll find full LED lighting with LED daytime ring lights and turn signals up top LED projector headlights a little bit farther down along with your aerodynamic treatment to help airflow around the sides of the vehicle for better aerodynamics and fuel efficiency on this vehicle, you'll find the latest Buick logo. So this is the split tri-shield design with the red, white, and blue accents. Really do like how they updated this logo, and I think it gave the Buick experience a little bit more premium feel rather than the old logo with the circle design in it. Now at the front of the Avenir, you will find the chrome accent and grille, which wraps around the entire front end, kind of around the mouth of the grille, if you will. You do have your integrated 360 camera system just below the Buick emblem. You do get a unique grille on every trim of the Encore GX, so that is a very nice touch. A little bit of matte silver trim below that, as well as your body color and gloss black accents on the lower portion of the front bumper, which does wrap around the side of the vehicle along to the back as well. Now, speaking of the side of the vehicle, the Avenir does get body color accents here on the outside uh, versus the gloss black or matte black plastic, depending on the other trims that you do choose. So this is the only trim level that does offer the body color cladding. And personally, I really do like it. It gives it a more premium touch, although I really do like the gloss black version on the Sport Touring as well. So it's kind of a personal preference in that regard, uh, but you can't really go wrong with either. Now coming to the wheels and tires, these are going to be the Avenir specific wheel option in a brush nickel pearl finish. They're going to be 19 inch in size wrapped in 245, 45, 19 inch Continental Pro Contact TX all season tires. So a pretty high quality all season at that. Mirror caps are going to be body color, no turn signal integration, but it does have the camera on the bottom for the 360 camera system. They are going to be heated and do have blind spot detection. Proximity key entry on all four door handles, which is a very nice premium touch on a subcompact SUV. And here from the side of the vehicle, you can see all the chrome exterior accents around the top of the window trim, the cross rails up top, as well as a little bit on the door handles themselves. And then we have the body color accents here on the lower section. So uh, definitely a unique aspect. And you do get the Avenir logo on the bottoms of the two front doors uh, to showcase that this is the top trim level in the Encore GX lineup. Now on the back of the Avenir in specific, you will find some unique styling elements, including the clear lens LED tail lamps that are only found on this particular trim. They still do light up red if you depress the brake pedal or indicate using the turn signal. Uh, but these are just the clear lens kind of smoke design uh, to give it a more premium touch. Down below, incandescent reverse lights, and then you have your faux dual outlet exhaust on the left and right hand side, finished in the gloss black, as well as the center diffuser portion right there, and then the body color that kind of wraps around that instead of the gloss black or matte black plastic on the other trims. Encore GX all-wheel drive here on the left side, your Buick updated logo 
here in the center of the tailgate and then your Avenir script on the right side or the passenger side. So as a whole, very nice premium looking exterior design. And one other thing for the Avenir in specific is going to be the camera for the rear camera mirror, uh, which is optional on this particular vehicle. So that is found just below the third brake light right here hidden up very well and there is an integrated washer nozzle as you can see uh, so that will clean i assume with the rear washer uh, that also cleans the glass so very cool of buick to implement that and you really do have some features on this vehicle that you really sh uh, don't normally expect on a subcompact suv so let's go ahead and take a quick look at the window sticker so you guys know exactly how this one is equipped and then we'll jump onto the interior so take a quick look at the window sticker. The Avenir comes extremely well equipped for a subcompact and the Encore GX lineup in general with standard heated seats, power driver seat. Uh, you have the leather seating surfaces, dual zone automatic climate control and a host of other features. Now there are a few additional option packages um, including the Avenir technology package, the panoramic power sunroof, as well as the Avenir convenience package, uh, which brings the total MSRP on this unit to $38,835, including destination. So taking a quick look on the interior, once again, this is the Whisper Beige and Ebony accented interior with many premium materials throughout. Starting out here on the driver's side door, you'll find the black accented kind of hard touch plastics up top with the Whisper Beige or light beige center section. It is going to be soft touch with the accent stitching. Power windows, mirrors, and locks with automatic driver's side window. Chrome door handle pull. You do have two person memory driver's seat. Again, very nice touch for this segment with your power lift gate a little bit farther down, which you can program the height. And then there, there's your Bose premium audio system with the Bose branding on the door speaker and a good amount of door storage with your integrated bottle holder. So as a whole, very nice door panel, a lot of nice features and amenities. There's your Avenir specific door sill plate finished kind of in the aluminum finish. There's your power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar, whisper beige or the lighter beige interior with kind of the dark brown accent piping. You can see on the backs of the seats, they do have a unique perforation or kind of stitching pattern to give it a more premium look. And then there is your Avenir um, embossed in the headrest once again, uh, just like that of the ST if you would get the Sport Touring. Now here in the inside of the Avenir, you will find some unique touches and features that you will not find on other trims of the Encore GX lineup. Now in front of the driver, you'll find the same eight inch fully digital gauge cluster found standard across the board uh, no matter which Encore GX you do choose. It is controlled here on the right side of the steering wheel and you can see it does display the basic information and has a unique Buick skin on top of the software uh, versus that of some of the other GM brands. Now if you do wanna change the overall gauge layout, you'll press and hold this scroll wheel for just a few seconds, let go, and then that will bring up a menu which you can toggle between different gauge layouts. So I think that is a very cool function. Scroll down to gauge two, it gives you a digital tachometer as well as your speedometer. Move stuff around just a little bit and you can personalize it depending on which gauge cluster face you do like the best. So uh, if you wanna put a gauge up there, you can do that. If you wanna put some of your infotainment or vehicle information, you can do that. So it is fairly customizable and uh, fairly easy to use. So overall, really do like that. Standard across every Encore GX. Leather wrap steering wheel with the light gray accent stitching and some chrome emblems and uh, logos throughout. On the left side, you do have your adaptive cruise control, heated steering wheel button, as well as gap adjustment for that adaptive cruise. On the right, you have your audio multimedia voice command controls. And on the back side, you do have paddles to control tune as well as volume for the infotainment system. Automatic high beam assist on the left, rain sensing wipers here on the right. To the left of the steering wheel, you do have your gauge dimming or gauge illumination as well as your automatic headlight controls. There's no fog lights available. Some whisper beige or some beige accents here on the dashboard with some soft touch and bright chrome around the vents. You do have some faux stitching here on the dash as well as your red LED indicator that will flash up on the glass to let you know uh, when you're using your forward collision avoidance assist or some of the other safety systems available in this vehicle. And coming over here to the infotainment system, this is the 11 inch display, wireless Android Auto, wireless Apple CarPlay, Sirius XM, AM, FM, USB, Bluetooth inputs, all the usual stuff you will expect from a newer GM vehicle. And this does have the Buick skin on it as well. So you have your shortcuts here on the left side with audio, phone, vehicle information, as well as your home button at the very bottom. Um, this does not have Google integration, uh, but you can control some of your climate, your 360 cameras through here via the HD display resolution. It does have a Wi-Fi hotspot and a host of other features. So huge upgrade in my opinion for the Encore GX and it is available across other GM models as well. You have an integrated physical volume knob as well as a power knob. Two vents a little bit farther down with your hazards in the center. 
And for the Avenir, you do get the dual zone automatic climate control. So this gives you a different gauge layout or different controls in this area versus that of the manual system found on some of the lesser trims. So um, I do definitely like this a lot better. It looks a lot more premium and gives you a little bit more functionality, including pulling up your climate controls up here on the actual touchscreen display itself. So heated seats on either side, dual zone climate, like I mentioned, USB-A and USB-C data inputs, 12 volt power outlet, as well as your wireless charging pad in the center section. It is fairly large, so you can fit most, if not all devices out there down there and is fairly easy to get to. In front of the shifter, you do have your engine stop start on off, all wheel drive, so you can force it into all wheel drive all the time, lane keeping assist, as well as track control off. Gloss black accents around the cup holders and shifter with some uh, bright chrome integrated in there. Leather shift knob with leather shift boot, electronic parking brake, as well as your proximity key fob with remote start and power tailgate. Typical Bioke one that we've seen from the last several years, so no uh, new features there. Two integrated cup holders, a little bit of additional storage space farther back. Soft touch armrest, it does not slide, but there is some integrated storage inside. No ports or lights inside, but it does provide some additional storage space, which I would say is needed quite a bit on the inside of this vehicle. Now up top, you do have a light gray padded headliner. There's your Vandy illumination. Auto dimming into your rear view mirror with the digital functionality via that camera I did showcase at the back. It does have your adjustments here on the side so you can zoom in and out, uh, do the brightness and control uh, which section of the camera it is viewing. So a lot of adjustment, love it or hate it type of feature. Personally, I would rather just use the auto dimming function, uh, but that is available to use if you wish. OnStar SOS up top, passenger airbag, overhead incandescent lighting, garage home link, as well as your panoramic power sunroof controls. So there is the panoramic center. It isn't the largest, but again, this vehicle isn't uh, overall very big. So it does provide a lot of additional light, additional airflow. If you do open it up, I would say it opens quite large again for the overall footprint of the sunroof itself. So um, definitely a bonus. And one of the reasons to get the Encore GX over something like the Buick and Vista, uh, which does in some regards compete with this vehicle. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at the back seats. Now take a quick look at the back seats of the Encore GX. All of the materials and stuff will follow through from the front. So you have the soft touch padded insert in the center section with a little bit of additional storage at the bottom. Seating surfaces are going to be the same as well with the black seat belts as you can see. And all these stitching patterns and stuff do follow through from the front as well. Step in height is going to be very easy given the overall door opening and ride height of this vehicle. There's a quick look at the dashboard. Out back in terms of amenities, you do not get AC vents, unfortunately, but you do get USB charge ports, as well as a 120 volt wall outlet all the way here at the bottom. So that's a nice touch for a subcompact SUV. There's mat pockets on both of the front seats and the passenger seat does fold flat, which I will demonstrate here in a second. 60-40 split folding seats, integrated center armrest with two cup holders. Like I mentioned, the black seat belts and the headrests themselves do fold down via this button on the side for just a little bit better visibility out the rear glass uh, when you don't need these. So overall, pretty nice um, rear seat. I will say the space behind my driving position, seats a little bit farther back than I would normally keep it, is about two to three inches, plenty of foot room down below. And in terms of headroom, even with the panoramic power sunroof, I have at least two to three inches of headroom. So not an issue in that regard. Uh, the speakle is just a hair smaller than that of the new Invista. Uh, which hopefully I will showcase here on the channel very shortly. So taking a quick look at the car capacity and storage space behind the second row seats. Once again, there is that power tailgate. Behind the second row, you'll find a pretty spacious and usable space. Although again, this is a subcompact SUV. So uh, this is a little bit on the smaller side for certain people. There is an integrated light here on the left side, a little bit of additional storage space. There you can see the cubby on the passenger side. Beneath the floor, you will find a temporary spare tire, which is very nice. You do have your integrated Bose subwoofer down there as well. And there's your roadside toolkit and jack. And you can see on either side of the spare tire, there is additional storage space. So if you want to stuff um, items beneath the floor, that is going to be possible. And this is a dual level load floor as well. So you can put the floor down uh, just a few inches to give you a little bit more room beneath the privacy cover and the top of the floor. So there is going to be a good amount of storage and cargo carrying capacity inside of this very small footprint. Now wrapping up here on the passenger front seat, most of the materials are going to be the same as the driver's side. And in this vehicle, you do get a power passenger seat with two-way power lumbar. So that is a very nice thing. The seat back itself is going to be a manual design given the fold flat function. Uh, but nice to see power passenger seat. 
damped glove box. It does not have any illumination in size, but very usable size indeed. And because this has the fold flat function, you simply pull this lever on the left side and the seat itself will immediately fold flat to store longer items inside. So Buick says you can store between eight and eight and a half feet diagonally inside with all of these seats folded down. And of course that is limited in terms of the overall width of the item itself. But um, again, that was one of the uh, aspects that really made this vehicle stand out uh, when this vehicle did debut just a few years ago in its current generation. So as a whole, very nice interior. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood, see what powers this particular vehicle and then we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. So under the hood of this vehicle, you'll find the 1.3 liter turbocharged three cylinder, which puts out 155 horsepower and 174 pound feet of torque, either through the front wheels only or all four wheels if you do option all wheel drive. Now this is paired to a nine speed torque converted automatic. And overall, I think the nine speed is definitely one of the reasons to get the more powerful and the all wheel drive versions of the Encore GX. Depending on the trim level, the 1.3 liter turbo is going to be the only engine option available. And you can of course get the 1.2 liter turbocharged three cylinder paired to a CVT in the front wheel drive only application. So as a whole, I think this is plenty of power for a vehicle like this and should move around without much issue. So that's gonna do it for my quick walk around tour of the 2024 Buick Encore GX Avenir. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and or found something helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel in these videos. Subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed. Make sure to stay tuned and check out additional content I have here across the Encore GX lineup. I've done one video on every single trim level, including uh, the base preferred, the sport touring, as well as this Avenir. And overall, I definitely think they have different personalities and different appeals depending on what you're looking for in terms of the styling, as well as the features and options. And of course, the big one, the price point. Now, as far as my quick thoughts on the Avenir trim in specific, like I said, it does start in the mid 40,000 with all wheel drive and destination and goes up over the $40,000 mark if you tick every single option box. Now, this one being mostly fully loaded outside of a couple small things, I think it is a great option, but again, it does push that $39,000 mark, which can get you a very, very, very nice um, compact SUV, which is one step up in size. Um, even that from the Buick Envision lineup, you can get kind of a lesser equipped one. But even if you're looking at kind of some other manufacturers out there, I think you can get some very, very well-equipped vehicles. Maybe not quite as luxurious as this one, but very, very close in terms of features, options, and equipment. And overall, it's gonna be a larger size and larger footprint. So again, it comes back to kind of what you're looking for. If you want kind of a more sporty, nimble feeling vehicle, this one is definitely gonna be the one for you. But if you're looking for more space on the inside, for a similar price point, there are some other options out there. If you don't need all of the uh, full size space, but want a slightly larger vehicle than this one, and maybe only need front wheel drive and don't care about the power and performance, then the Invista Avenir is definitely gonna be one to consider for the low $30,000 price point, fully loaded with everything it has to offer. So overall, I'm curious to hear your thoughts on this vehicle down in the comment section below. What do you think of the Encore GX Avenir in the mid to upper $30,000 price range as seen in this video? think it's worth it? Is there something else you would rather consider in this segment? Or overall, would you rather go up to the compact SUV and lose out on just a few options that this one might have, but have a larger footprint and maybe a more powerful engine as well? Definitely interested in your thoughts on this. Um, I think it is a personal preference type of thing for sure. Overall, I appreciate the support here on the channel. As always, hope to see you guys in the next one.